Now, at times, I have had people gently question my optimism in this area, but try to imagine being me for a second. Standing up here, looking at all these beautiful faces, and ask yourselves, is it really possible to feel truly pessimistic for even a moment when there are so many mentors and role models and admirable human beings all grouped together in just one room, not even for a heartbeat? So thank you on behalf of a gender agenda and on behalf of everybody who feels as I do that we are the lucky card holders of the most resilient, most self-knowing, most supportive and most badass crew out. Thank you. <laughs> we tried something different. Uh, we created a living memorial of potted flowers dedicated to each sex and gender diverse person who had lost their lives to transphobic violence or discrimination in the previous year. We asked you to take, um, take one with you and to plant it as an ongoing memorial. Uh, Shane Rattenbury of the ACT Greens, um, he attended and spoke at last year's TDOR and he really engaged in the true spirit of this dedication. He planted the marigold that he took outside the members entrance to the Legislative Assembly. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and, yeah. There was a lone red and um, red and gold marigold in amongst this otherwise uniform pot of purple pastel whatever, and it was so beautiful to us and so symbolic of the space that we that the Canberra Sex and Gender Diverse community is starting to occupy, and we thought that was just quite a divine thing to do. So now this year we've been inspired to start a collection of similar images. We're asking you to not only take a flower with you and to plant it in the public space as a living memorial, uh, but also to take a photo of that and to send it to us and we can put it on our website so that any time of year, it doesn't have to be TDOR, you can have an opportunity to reflect and to look on an archived series of images dedicated to our community. So I think that we should take that moment to give Mr. Anbury and the ACT Greens another round of applause for their honor. So now I would like to introduce Tim Babington of uh, Sexual Health and Family Planning ACT, who have been ardent and active supporters of our community for a long time, to come up and say a few words. Oh, yes, thank you, Tim.